let's talk about the IPA. The IPA, no, not that IPA, this IPA, the International Phonetic Alphabet, is a tool used by linguists to transcribe sounds in human languages. In this video, we'll focus on this part of the IPA, the pulmonic consonants. In order to read this chart, you'll need to understand three things, voicing, place of articulation, and manner of articulation. Let's start with voicing. Voicing refers to the vibration of the vocal cords when producing a consonant sound. Notice that in all these cells, we have symbols that lean towards the left and symbols that lean towards the right. The ones lean towards the left are voiceless, meaning that there is no vibration in the vocal cords. And the ones lean towards the right are voiced, meaning that there is vibration in the vocal cords. Next, let's talk about place of articulation. The place of articulation refers to where a consonant sound is produced. In this chart, all of the columns denote places of articulation. There are bilabial, which refers to the lips, labial dental, which refers to the lower lip and upper teeth, dental, which refers to placing the tip of the tongue at the upper teeth, alveolar, which refers to placing the tip of the tongue at the alveolar ridge, post-alveolar, which refers to placing the tip of the tongue at the back of the alveolar ridge, retroflex, which refers to curling the tongue up and placing it between the alveolar ridge and a hard palate, palatal, which refers to placing the body of the tongue at the hard palate, vela, which refers to placing the back of the tongue at the soft palate, uvula, which refers to placing the back of the tongue at the uvula, pharyngeal, which refers to placing the root of the tongue at the pharynx, and glotto, which refers to the glottis. Finally, let's talk about manner of articulation. The manner of articulation refers to how a consonant sound is produced. In this chart, of the rows the net note manners of articulation. There are plosive, which refers to blocking the vocal tract at a specific place of articulation and then suddenly releasing it. Nasal, which refers to blocking the vocal tract at a specific place of articulation but letting air escape through the nose. Trill, which refers to throwing one articulator against another one multiple times like a vibration. Tap or flap, which refers to throwing one articulator against another one only once. Fricative, which refers to forcing air through a narrow channel formed by two articulators. Approximate, which refers to forcing air through a less narrow channel formed by two articulators. And lateral, which refers to air traveling alongside the tongue. Now that you understand these three things, let's practice reading this chart. Try pronouncing this symbol, the one that looks like a lowercase p. First, we will need to determine if the consonant is voiceless or voiced. Looking at the chart, we can see in this cell right here that the symbol is leaning towards the left. This means that the sound is voiceless, meaning you don't vibrate your vocal cords when pronouncing it. Next, we need to determine the place of articulation. Looking at the chart, we can see that this sound is bilabial. This means we pronounce the sound where the lips are located. Finally, we need to determine the manner of articulation. Looking at the chart, we can see that this sound is a plosive. This means we are blocking the vocal tract at the lips and then suddenly releasing it when pronouncing the sound. Hence, you should pronounce something like but, but, but. This sound is actually pretty common amongst the world's languages. You can find it in words like English spin, Spanish perro, Russian pizza, Mandarin Chinese poli, Italian pane, Greek bozi, Basque arrapatu, Welsh shop, and so on. Okay, let's try another sound. This one that looks like a lowercase r. We know it's leaning towards the right, so it's voiced, meaning that we vibrate our vocal cords when pronouncing it. We know it's an alveolar sound, meaning we place the tip of the tongue at the alveolar ridge. And we know it's a trill, meaning that we take our tongue and hit it against the alveolar ridge multiple times, so like a vibration. Hence, you should have something that sounds like r, r. 
R. You might have recognized this sound before. In fact, I just made this sound earlier when pronouncing the Spanish word perro and the Basque word arrapatu. This sound is often colloquially known as the road all and can be found in several languages. Before I go, let's practice reading more of the chart. I'll circle a specific sound and you will have a couple of seconds to try and pronounce it before I also pronounce it so you can compare. Th, th, th. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Ra, ra, ra. Sha, sha, sha. Ra. Ra, ra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.